Diesel engines normally produce more torque than their gasoline counterparts, and it is thanks to the diesel fuel which carries more energy per amount. As the diesel fuel also burns slower than the gasoline, it will never reach the speeds of a gasoline engine. Generally, the rev range is quite a bit narrow, and when the engine gets larger, it gets lower and narrower. I'm with the Eraser, and let's talk about the lowest revving diesel engines. Starting this list with a Detroit 12V71, which comes from the popular 71 series, ranging from 1 up to 24 cylinders. The V12 was in the middle, meant for heavy semi-howling, roll trains and even marine applications. Its naturally aspirated variant, meaning that there was a supercharger but no turbocharger, had 480 horsepower. With a turbocharger it provided 555 horsepower and with the intercooler the power range increased up to 600 horsepower. The Hall engine was about 1.6 tons and its peak RPM was about 2100 RPM. Model V2 was a Soviet, but actually made in Ukraine. This is a famous 38.8 litre V12 engine used in tanks, tank destroyers and self-propelled guns. It was water-cooled, naturally aspirated and made from aluminium. The right cylinder bank had longer stroke thanks to articulated conrods, that's just an interesting thing about it. Naper Deltic is a chapter of its own. It was not only a two-stroke engine, but shaped into triangle with three banks of 18 cylinders. It had 18 cylinders and 36 pistons as they were opposed each other. The peak power was about 2500 horsepower with a bi-directional gearbox reaching up to 2000 rpm. The idle was about 600 rpm and could run up to 5000 hours between overhauls. To see more such videos like this one, please consider subscribing. EMD 645 is a, another railway engine. The 645, similarly like in the two-stroke Detroit diesels, means a single cylinder volume in cubic inches, or 10.6 liters per cylinder. It was a series of V6 up to V20, all 45 degrees V-shaped, with a single or twin roots blowers. Or a turbocharger that, thanks to a clutch, could work as a centrifugal supercharger to maintain power at high altitudes. The 645 series was mainly used as a railway, marine and stationary engine with a rev range from 200 up to 950 rpm. K2 
was made by Kelvin Diesels in Scotland, and this K2 was a twin-cylinder engine. It was actually their first diesel engine produced. The Kelvin Diesels is an unsuccessful automobile manufacturer and now specializes in diesel marine engines for fishing boats and small tugs. The K2's usable rev range is from 160 up to 750 rpm and weighs about 1.36 tons. It was priced in 1964 about 980 euros and in today's money about 28,000 euros. <laughs> Lance Bulldog is a very famous German tractor. It uses a horizontal single-cylinder two-stroke hot bulb engine, which requires a preheated blowing red head to be able to start it. And the steering wheel was used as a starting crank and it had to be removed to be able to steer afterwards. Initially, it was a 12 horsepower 6.3 liter engine, which grew up to 10.3 liters with 44 horsepower. It was built in over 220,000 examples and it was so popular and great that there were many copies made in France, Poland, Australia and Argentina. The last one on this list is a very large marine engine. It is the MAN BNV 6S50MC, which means that it was a 6-cylinder, super-long bore and stroke ratio, with 50cm piston diameter and was cam controlled. The S50 series range from 5 up to 8 cylinders, and as a 2-stroke uses blower and a turbocharger at the same time. As a two-stroke marine diesel engine, its thermal efficiency was about 50% and uses about 22 tons of fuel each day at peak 127 rpm. Note that this engine had 13,000 horsepower and over 750,000 newton meters, which equals 560,000 pound-feet. If you enjoyed this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe. I very much enjoy making this video, so if you do too, please support me. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers! <music>